Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Restorations. I'm Doug Giles, uh, and as promised, we have a shoe repair video, or shoe restoration video, kind of, sort of. We're going to tackle the uppers on these. Now, these are a pair of Single Monk floor shimes, and they look to be from about the 1980s or so. Really good looking shoes, a little on the small side. Um, I could see a guy with smaller feet, or yeah, even a woman could wear these. Don't know, but we're going to do a restoration on these. So first thing I think we're going to do, uh, as soon as I can find a pair of scissors or nippers or something like that, I have a pair of nippers right here. Ah, I've got scissors right here. First thing I think we're going to do is we're going to clip that rubber band that's holding these two together. I'm going to give these the once over. Uh, they look to be really nice shoes. Well constructed. Let's see. And the color of them's not bad. But we might do something a little different with the color on them. I promised you guys more shoe videos and I intend on keeping my promise. My pool table videos have not been getting an awful lot of love lately, but you know what? That's all right. You guys don't love the pool tables like I do. All right, so this one looks all right. We got a little ding right here on the front toe. I think we can sand that out. Let's look at the other one. We'll get this buckle off of here. And I'm looking over my dies that I have. Yeah, this doesn't look bad at all. The, uh, the elastic on there is still nice and tight. We've got a little nick right here. Can you see that? Got a little nick right there. Overall, again, not in bad condition. So what I want to do is I'm going to start by cleaning the uppers. I'm going to grab us a rag from right over here. And cut this into some pieces. Get fuzz everywhere. Now I've got acetone that I think I'm going to go over these things with. May end up, uh, may end up darkening these up a little bit. What do you all think? Shake out the fuzz. Uh, shake out the fuzz on this one. Uh, all right. We got a can of acetone sitting over here. And let's see, we'll use this rag to begin with. And you know what? We're going to lay this down because. For some reason, the acetone likes to eat my uh, eat these lines off of my uh, off of my mat here. Y'all see what I'm doing? Yeah, y'all can see. Got a pretty good buildup of wax on here and. finish. And clean these all the way back down to the leather, to the bare leather. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning these and when we come back they should be good and clean. And we'll go on to the next step. Give one more spot real quick. Okay, so we got it cleaned up. Um, that's the entire upper cleaned up now. And what I am going to do next, I learned this trick from Steve with Beto's Leatherworks. We are going to take some water and isopropyl alcohol mix. I'm going to spray down the tops of these. Where all these wrinkles are. Spray on the inside of the shoe as well. Get it good and wet. I'm 
kind of massage that into the into the uppers a bit. Mmm, smells good. It smells like alcohol. start rolling some of these. Now the, these aren't shell cordovan. These are just regular calf. I'm assuming calf, but Somewhere around here I have a, a bone folder, but I don't know that I'm going to use the bone folder. So next what I'm going to do is I've got a pair of oversized shoe trees that I'm going to stick in here. Alright, when I come back, I'm, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have a pair of oversized shoe trees. <coughs> and what I want to do is I want to put these shoe trees in and I mean jam them in there good and tight so that it stretches this vamp area. that stretched out really well. I'll give it some more, some more alcohol and water. All right. And I have a bone folder around here somewhere. There it is. And what this is, is a piece of bone. It's nice and slick on one side, or it's slick all the way. And I just want to start working those creases out. You know, and this works on shell cordovan as well. If the creases are really, really bad, you might be able to soak the shoe in water. I'd be really careful about doing that though because some of the glues that they use in the construction might not be all that great. It might be water soluble glues. You might end up deconstructing your shoe by doing that. So I think in this video, I'm just going to, we're just going to do this one shoe. I'll end up doing the other shoe off camera because I really want the before and after. I want you guys to be able to see the before and after. getting a lot of those wrinkles out of here. Now these wrinkles will eventually come back. There's no getting getting rid of them permanently. They will eventually come back. 
but you know this will definitely help straighten them out let's see can we get a side by side now you see the difference all right so we had a little issue with our camera and my microphone actually fell off too get that back set situated <clears throat> all right back at it there's our piece of sandpaper or new piece that we have here it is nope here it is all right so we're going to continue on Like I said, that sandpaper gets clogged up pretty quickly with this leather. The last piece of 400 I have. You see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to get all these little cracks right here sanded out. And let's see, the other side's not too terribly bad. We'll do a bit right over here as well. All right, we're going to do a little test on this. We're going to grab our show brown die. And I want to make sure that I've gotten enough of this finish down on the that way I can test. If I test it here and it takes really well and all I can see how it's all blotchy and everything in there. If it takes over the whole thing, if the the die takes on that, then that's about all I'll have to do, sand all the rest of this down to be able to match it up so let's do a little test we're gonna grab ourselves a dauber and again this is Phoebing's show brown pro dye probably end up giving this two or three coats and see where we are with this. You see what we're doing here? Okay, we're gonna let those dry for a little while, come back to them, maybe spray a little finish on them or put a finish on them. tell you another thing see look I don't know if you can see right here at the tip it's a little bitty piece of leather that's like lifted but it's right on the edge what I'll like to do with that is I'll take a lighter 
I've done this with some of my other leather projects. You just take that lighter and just singe off the leather. That one little spot. That way you're not trying to cut it or anything. And then just hit it down a little bit with the sandpaper just to ease that edge a little bit more. Yeah, much better. And then we'll hit that back down with just a touch more dye. And there, good as new. Well, not really, but it's better. And then we've also got one last little bit right here on the toe. Yeah, that's better too. Give it a little light bit of dye, wipe away our excess, and there, when we go to polish this, you'll never even see it. All right, so we're going to let this dry, and when we come back, we'll take it from there. See you in a few. All right, so we've gotten this dyed, it's still the same day, but we've gotten it dyed. Uh, the cracks right here have actually seemed to go away. For the most part so what we're going to do now is we are going to go over this with a bit of Phoebe's resoline and I actually like to use these t-shirt rags for doing this and we're just gonna give a light coat over the whole thing Probably going to give this a little bit of patina as well. And I'm really just doing this just so that I can seal up those spots where I broke through the finish of the leather and the, the very top of the leather. And this will give that a nice sheen. And again, I use these t-shirt rags because they leave a, a decent finish and, you know, these little bitty bubbles from the uh, resoline on the rag, they, uh, they pop very easily. They don't, they don't tend to stay on the surface and dry as a bubble and leave a round spot. And we're going to go over this probably two, maybe three times. Work it right up alongside that groove. And we're going to come back with our dry portion of the rag. And just wipe off the excess. And again, if you're using a t-shirt rag like this, um, you know, you shouldn't really have too much lint or anything like that that wants to stick. Look at there. I mean, we're already. Okay, so these were what we started off with. As you can see, it's pretty nasty looking. And these are floor shimes. Here, I'll go nice and slow so you can see what they looked like. Okay. Now, I didn't do the polishing on this yet. But this is what we end up with. And you know, guys, this is something you guys can do in your own home. You know, this is a simple refinish job of these shoes. Basic tools, basic, uh, 
basic tools to do it. I'm going to take some real nice pictures and show them to you. At the very end, I'll take some up-close pictures using the nicer camera. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.